Well, it's that time of year that sugar cane aphids are starting to move through, and Tom, we're already actually starting to see that here, aren't we? That's right. Southwestern Oklahoma, I've already seen populations of sugar cane aphid uh, in sorghum that needed to be treated, or in some cases, the field had already been treated. So uh, it's really important to let producers know that they have to be diligent in scouting their fields and watching so that they don't get caught by surprise. Well, the good news is, is that there's a new uh, chemical out that can, that's proven to be pretty effective in controlling aphids. That's right. One of the products that we have um, actually been um, asking for a Section 18 emergency use permit, the um, active ingredient is sofoxiflor has received a full federal label now, so it is gonna be available. I won't have to write a letter in support of it every year. It's, it's now fully available to producers in Oklahoma from uh, now into the future. In, in regards to um, um, scouting, you actually have some research that was done here at Oklahoma State that's, um, that you're actually using now that can make up, you know, scouting a little more time uh, like time effective. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it, it wasn't time effective for my graduate student because she had to collect a lot of data, but we have developed a sampling plan um, that um, we believe once we get it uh, out to farmers and get them using it can save them a lot of time. In a few fields that I've sampled already, I was able to make a decision in those fields in six minutes versus having to take 29 minutes to go through and sample every plant that uh, some of the other sampling plans require. So what exactly is this scouting method? Basically what it is is we examine two leaves on three consecutive plants and we keep track of every plant that has 50 or more aphids on their two leaves. That can then translate to whether there's a, enough pressure out there to have to treat or not. In the case that I've checked a couple of times already, uh, we were able to make that decision after examining only 12 plants instead of the 48 that we typically have said that you need to do in the past. Which saves a lot of time. Saves a lot of time. All right, well, thanks, Tom. If you'd like some more information on scouting for aphids or just aphids in general, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.